Hi guys, Random here, back with a bit more World of Warships. Today, as promised, we are looking at HMS Nelson. Yes, the ship with a nose only its mother could love. Hmm. Um, the Nelson is in the tech tree. Um, if you go to the British tech tree, you will find it just here and it will say that you need to spend 300 and, uh, 375,000 I think it was free XP uh, I didn't quite have that so I did do a little bit of a uh, doubloon transaction uh, to get the free XP uh, converted cost me about a tier 3 ship so I'm not too upset about that um, you know, Campbelltown, I don't know what that is, about £10, something like that. So, it's not bad if you've got some free XP. If you haven't got some free XP, then it will cost you about £25, £30. Um, up to you whether or not you think it's worth it. Watch this video, you'll find out. Yeah. So, let's have a look at the numbers for the Nelson, shall we? Um, survivability wise 59,400 not the best not the worst um, funnily enough the hood has more which I found a little strange but there you go um, armor wise yeah it's pretty good it is pretty good we have a look at the armor layout uh, especially the Citadel armor here the the belt there is 356 millimeters uh, and you have the torpedo bulkhead of 38 uh, behind which you've got 305 and 152 so there's your torpedo reduction uh, of oh, not very much 19% but uh, yeah, it works okay it does work okay um, the armor's pretty good as long as you're angled it is pretty good as long as you keep that angle there um, don't go broadside because you will get kaboomed quite quickly um, enough about that let's uh, move along shall we to the artillery three triple mounted 406 millimeter guns hmm but they're all at the front hmm now obviously being all at the front uh, it makes it a little bit tricky if you want to get all nine guns on target for example if you are going straight at an enemy you'll get six and it isn't until you get to about here that you can get all nine on your foe so you do have to be a bit careful uh, and selective about when you fire or when you open up your angle to fire this rear turret mm. could have done to being stacked up above these uh, one two three that would have been really nice but they're not so bear that in mind bear that in mind now the numbers 12,000 maximum AP damage so if you sit at all somebody 12,000 damage which is lovely 6900 max HE damage okay not quite as exciting as 12,000 but 46% fire charms now these shells um, they're peculiar they are a bit peculiar they have a shorter fuse arming time which kind of makes them pretty deadly for uh, things like cruisers hmm but they do have a tendency to bounce as well so if you are looking at a ship and it's broadside to you like this AP all day every day if it's looking at you like that you may well want to consider high explosive hmm it's well worth thinking about it really is especially with that fire chance um, secondaries you've got six single 120 mils uh, firing out to five kilometers and eight percent fire chance 
and six dual mounted 152 mils firing ar armor piercing at five kilometers 3100 max damage on those your main battery main firing range is 18.2 kilometers so it's got a decent reach on her yeah decent reach on her um, could be a lot worse anti-air yeah right anti-air defense um, when they're on top of you it's pretty good if they're not on top of you it's not quite so good so if we have a look at the uh, close-up average DPS there of 126 it's two kilometers that I mean that danger close um, but 126 DPS isn't bad you can obviously uh, couple that with these pom-poms here with uh, 119 DPS at 2.5 kilometers so once you're in two and a half kilometer range the planes start getting knocked out of the sky um, unfortunately at four and a half kilometers your dual purpose secondaries will only give you 36 DPS so not that great maneuverability wise 24 knots not not quick when you compare it to the Scharnhorst uh, or the Nisenhow, um or anything really I mean it's kind of American speed you know uh, turning circle radius 750 meters rudder shift of 14.9 seconds and concealment <coughs> not too bad actually 12.8 kilometers um, that's that's pretty good for a battleship that's pretty good for a battleship could be better I think if we had I uh, know oh he's got the uh, concealment expert there uh, module wise let's have a quick look you can't fit the concealment module unfortunately um, what would I recommend for this I would recommend probably steering gear mod 2 um, just because I would recommend damage com mod 1 um, yeah, depending on what kind of build you want here now they, remember your secondaries are not that far reaching so it's probably not worth doing a secondary build on these anti-air yeah I could see anti-air being useful because your anti-air isn't all that great um, and maybe your aiming system mod one could be good um, mm, mm. I'd be, I'd be tempted to go for auxiliary armament mod one um, on this just to give your AA a bit more survivability uh, you're a battleship so you're gonna get HE spammed I, I would probably go for that over main armament I would go for um, probably aiming system mod one uh, just to get better dispersion you know or possibly extend the AA range but yeah that's my thoughts on those anyway you haven't got the fifth module there which would give you the uh, the extra stealth which would knock that down uh, well, probably to about 10 kilometers or so I would think I think it's about 15 percent um, right consumable wise obviously without a doubt you want to uh, Repair Party 2 and you want Damage Control Party 2 as well um, let's have a, a quick flag it shall we let's go don't blow me up let's go make me a bit quicker um, I'm gonna go for Commander XP I'm gonna go for credits it's a premium so why wouldn't you um, I'm gonna go for the 20 more or twenty percent more for the health party, uh, which is just disgusting, by the way. <laughs> but we'll see that. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't really worry too much about the AA flag. Certainly wouldn't worry about the secondary flag. You don't need the fire flags, um, not by any stretch of the imagination. So I'm going to go for free XP and probably lower the cost for the repair as well so there we go 
so let's jump into a co-op let's see how we get on now it's an interesting ship this it is an interesting ship here we go look it's tier five six seven game we're top tier only drawback three destroyers so yeah there is that um, not many battleships in the game at the moment uh, there is an event running the ships and tea event um, and line up some HE to go in the barrels to start with uh, yeah the ships and tea event where you have to kill battleships um, but you can only do it in a destroyer cruiser or aircraft carrier you cannot do it in a battleship now you need to destroy five battleships to get the third flag uh, as part of the ships and tea thing for the British battleships now I've already done this uh, and I found it easier to go high tier where there aren't that many battleships queuing up for a co-op because you can do it in a co-op um, yeah go in high tier and the game will put bots in to fill up your team um, and at least two of those bots will be battleships if nobody else is playing battleships so it's a good way of doing it right now then let's have a look at the angles shall we so you can see there we've got all three guns and they're all green and as we move it round we get it to about there yep there we go just there is where it goes from green to not green so that is your your range to get all nine turret or all nine uh, barrels on the three turrets um, pointed at your enemy uh, so yeah don't don't believe that uh, those guns are going to be in use all the time in that uh, back turret there now you see there the, I mean the actual traverse on the guns for a battleship to be fair it's not bad um, could certainly be quicker but it isn't terrible so there's your mill so let's line up see if we can get a hit on the Emil Bertin over here at the moment we are kind of behind this rock here so I'm thinking that probably about here but it'd be nice if we could get sight on the, the Emil again that mass has gone into hiding mode okay Aha, Fiji. Right, Fiji. Let's fire the guns. Let loose the dogs of war, as they say. Yes, nice. We got a nice hit on the uh, the Fiji there. And we've got the old Emil over there. I'm going to line up AP for the next shot. Right. We have an Emil who is just derping his way around the map. Okay, so there's the Emil there. Let's get some shots out on her. Now you see that dispersion. It's not fantastic, is it? Now we've taken a bit of a hit there. But that's fine. And I'm not too worried about this fire. Uh, you'll see why. Right, it's that Fiji again. So I'm going to start turning in. But I want my guns on that Fiji. Because, yeah, they make a nice mess. Uh, so we're nearly fire out, very nearly. So that's good. And now you will see what I mean about it, the repair. The repair is disgusting, look at that! It just absolutely wrecks them. Um, oh, there we go, the mass is down. There's the Emil. Let's get some AP into the side of that. Yeah, 20,400. Nice. 
we've got the Fiji there we've got the Nuremberg over there I've got to watch the Fiji I think he's already launched his torpedoes but uh, obviously need to watch him I'm, I'm keeping that repair in reserve just in case he hasn't um, and we've got plane overhead but that's okay right so let's use one turret on you two turrets on you uh, I'm gonna get rid of this guy because frankly I think he's gonna be more of a pain so let's get rid of him there we go and we'll pick up the Fiji and now I'm going to turn into the Nuremberg now I'm gonna use that repair now because I'm, I'm taking some damage here and even though I have reversed it back I'm gonna take one there but it's not the end of the world because we do have that uh, repair still carrying out so it's okay and we should be able to get another repair party going just about now there we go good grief look at all that green that just appeared see this is this is the thing with this ship it is just disgusting how much you can repair uh, I've got torpedoes coming yeah well mr. Fiji you need to be better than that sunshine and yeah, even even his little cruiser AP is doing bad things to us, but we should be able to get rid of him. So that is the Nelson. It is an absolute beaut of a boat. It really is. Even even despite this huge great schnoz that it's got on the front there, um, it's really really you. <laughs> it's it's just. Oh, I've only got 10 hit points left to repair. Oh, now I've got 10,000. Oh, right. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, okay, let's 69,716 damage, 27 uh, main battery hits, two planes shot down, two boats sunk, two fires, two citadels. Oh, two, 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 two. Um, 10 defense ribbons, 18 secondary hits, 167,408 credits, 1170 XP. 236 xp where did we come we came at the top but by a good margin there um that's that's not bad the old nelson it isn't bad have a look here the old emil Bertin that uh, just drove into us but i'm a big battleship uh i'm not gonna be able to dodge him you know he's a little cruiser he should be able to see me and dodge me but yeah you know, tunnel vision and all that I expect um, so fire wise there do you know what we, we didn't actually do a great deal of fire damage there we did start a couple of fires but uh, didn't get any damage off them so they must have repaired straight away um, but yeah basically if you've got HE loading you shoot at something you you're gonna get a fire in this you know It'd be highly unusual if you didn't. Uh, let's see what the take home was. 135,662, nice. Uh, yeah, Commander XP there, 1,559. Again, nice. Nice. So let's go back to the port. And what do you think? What do you think? Now, bear in mind you can get this for, you know, same as the Missouri. Um, for your free XP, uh, which you can choose to convert or not, entirely up to you. Uh, you could grind it out, you could convert it. You decide whether or not you want to put your uh, hand in your pocket and pay a few quid or whether you'd like to do it for nothing. Um, once you get that, it costs you a grand total of one credit. Yep, one whole credit. I know, it's outrageous. Um, so you use your free XP to research it, you buy it for a credit and it's yours, it's there. Um, it is a premium so you can use it to train up captains uh, and I would thoroughly recommend this ship. 
I would thoroughly recommend it. If you play it like the Dunkirk, or I think it's the Ismo, uh, if you've got the Ismo, let's have a quick look. Japan, Ismo, I think it's the Ismo, yeah. Uh, so if you played the Ismo and you're used to having everything up front, um, then I would, I would recommend it. I really would. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. <clears throat> what do you think about free XP ships? Are you for them? Are you against them? Um, have you got the Nelson? If not, are you planning to get it sometime soon? Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? If you're new to the channel, don't forget the old subscribe button's there. Uh, if you'd like to see some more warships. And uh, if you think you enjoyed the video, which of course you did, then get the old like button a tick away. He loves it, the old like button. Give him a little caress, little tickle. You know he likes it. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably more than enough from me for now. So thank you ever so much for watching, guys. But for now, it's Captain Random signing off. Take care, and I'll see you again in the next one.